welcome back friends in this video tutorial we'll be talking about penetrance penetrance in genetics so what does penetrance mean and you probably heard this term and don't know what it is or there are questions uh, you saw in CS net exam or any other exam regarding this so what is penetrance penetrance means uh, I mean let me explain a scenario then I'll explain what it is let's say in a population of 100 people okay uh, a, a disease is there the disease could be of uh, autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive or sex link dominant or sex link recessive so if, uh, if it is an autosomal dominant disease it says that the population will get the disease even if the individual is in autosome i mean uh, heterozygous or in a homozygous dominant form the person will get the disease and penetrance of 80 percent of that disease that means a population will get the scenario whenever the individuals are having the either homozygous dominant or heterozygous genotype 80 percent of them or 80 percent of the times they are going to have the disease right so penetrance means whenever uh, it's, it's a percentage value it's a proportion so proportion of individuals who are going to have that disease or who are going to reflect other uh, disease symptoms uh, depending upon the genetic variations that are available in a population right so if I explain it here in the very basic level you can see that in a population uh, let's say the disease is autosomal dominant type autosomal dominant type disease now autosomal dominant disease and it says a penetrance of 95 percent of the individual heterozygous so wherever individuals we find, if you are a heterozygous individuals, the penetrance of the disease will be 95%. So what does that mean? That means in the population there are uh, multiple, uh, many different individuals are there. 95% of them will be diseased who carry the heterozygous genotype. That means a disease, if it's a autosomal dominant disease, so if I take the uh, genotype as capital A for the disease gene, so there are three possibilities capital A capital A possibility capital A small a and small a small a now capital A capital A is a cap autosomal dominant right it's autosomal dominant it's heterozygous uh, I mean not autosomal it's <laughs> homozygous dominant it's heterozygous and small a small a is homozygous recessive so three different uh, types of genotypes are possible in the population so among them it's telling the 95% heterozygous penetrance that means in this whole population the number of individual belonging to the heterozygous genotype 95 percent of them will be affected by the disease five percent will not be affected by the disease though it's an autosomal dominant though it has the heterozygous genotype and we know if it's a disease is autosomal dominant disease that means wherever the individual is having the homozygous auto uh, trait of dominant or the heterozygous trait the person should have the disease that means theoretically according to our idea of Mendelian genetics all of the individuals belonging to this heterozygous genotype should get the disease but penetrance is 95 means all of them will not get the disease only 95 percent will get the disease 5 percent will not get the disease so normally when you talk about stuff uh, we when we don't talk about penetrance just we talk about stuff that means the penetrance is 100%. That means the disease e will, will uh, take effect, right? Effect. If the disease is autosomal dominant, it's going to take take effect if you are homozygous dominant, it's going to take the effect if you are heterozygous for the for the genes, right? But if they say the penetrance is less than 100 percent then we, we need to take account this this idea of penetrance and we need to check for whether the number of individuals are affected or not, how many individuals are affected or not okay so that is the idea that we want to talk about now to, to understand this process much uh, clearly I want to give you a simple example a mathematical problem and I want to solve that problem so that you can understand what's going on there the problem is uh, stating that uh, again it's in a population and it says uh, the autosomal the disease we are talking here is again say autosomal dominant kind of disease autosomal dominant kind of disease and uh, the individuals that are present are heterozygous in nature so mother and father both are heterozygous in nature and it's also telling the individual that we see 
in the heterozygous individual what is the probability for the individuals or the offsprings or heterozygous offspring to get the disease right if the penetrance of the disease is 80 percent that is a question a disease we are talking about that disease is a uh, autosomal dominant kind of disease uh, father and mother have heterozygous genotype the the offsprings whatever offspring they develop what's the proportion of the offspring going to get that disease what's the proportion of the offspring to get the disease okay and uh, we can also say what is the proportion of the offsprings or individuals which will not get the disease okay so that is the question so how to solve this question as you know in this case not many information is provided just it says the penetrance is 80 percent that's it okay uh, so once you know that <clears throat> now let's calculate uh, the value for this so it says that uh, the disease is 80 percent penetrance it has the 80 percent penetrance that means normally when we calculate the number of individuals getting the disease or not we usually think of the disease as 100 percent penetrance value right so by that way we will calculate but here we need to calculate according to the penetrance of 80 percent so there only we need to change the calculations so let's solve this first uh, i hope you all understand uh, the problems very well so it's a dominant autosomal dominant disease with 80 percent penetrance and it says that the uh, the parents have a heterozygous genotype so it asks the number of individuals getting that disease right so let's do this uh, i'll be doing that uh, by going this side because otherwise it's hard for me to draw so let's let's assume at the very beginning let's assume uh, that uh, that these parents the remember parents it's not assume because they told us parents are heterozygous so let's assume the gene for the disease is capital a right so if the capital a gene is present disease will show up because it's an autosomal dominant disease so parents are heterozygous that means parents are also affected right so here let's assume let's let's find the punnett square value let's do the punnett square value the punnett square what we get we get a capital a and small a both from both side so we get capital a capital a capital a small a capital a small a and small a small a so you get this so once we get this value remember now capital a capital a autosomal dominant i mean homozygous dominant so definitely it will give us disease capital a small a heterozygous theoretically it should also give us disease heterozygous also give us disease only small a small a will not give the disease so these are the four individuals the offspring of the parents right so if you look at the offspring theoretically according to our choice according to our knowledge three out of four individuals are getting the disease remember three out of four individuals are getting the disease by this value but now remember now we have to take account the value of penetrance that is 80 percent 80 percent means 80 divided by 100 so what we can get is a two okay four by five no four by five if we simplify this four by five that is the value of penetrance and this is the value for the offspring to have the disease if the penetrance is 100 percent remember but the penetrance is 80 percent so now we need to calculate how many number of individuals will get the disease so what will be that the value here 3 fourth should get the disease according to if the penetrance is 100 percent but the penetrance is 4 by 5 5 out of 4 right so we'll multiply those two values to get the data 3 by 5 so the actual individual affected will be 3 out of 5 right not 4 out of 5 because the penetrance is now 80 percent so we'll do the percentage value for that but it will be 60 60 percent so theoretically if the penetrance is 100 percent then 75 percent of the individual should get the disease that's 3 out of uh, 4 yeah but now due to the penetrance of 80 percent 60 percent of the individuals or offspring will get the disease that is how you need to calculate the value for penetrance so if you see the penetrance related problems in csi net exam don't freak out easy to solve but you need to first uh, solve the value for uh, the general one with 100 percent penetrance then you apply the penetrance value multiply it you get the answer
right so this is uh, what is penetrance i hope this video helps you if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that and also uh, share this video with your friends thank you